let us see the next function we have like left right and mid function so if you have observed we have not used keyboard for writing the functions just using button click so if you are a beginner or and you're learning how to work on this functions in power Query, it's very simple left right and mid function i have an example here that's a column name order id where ca hyphen 2018 hyphen some number so if i want to split this column or if i want to extract only left or right or middle text how do i do that so i have this table name left right and mid same way one more column i'll pick up that is text with delimiters so i'll close the file and open this power bi and load that data okay this time i'll load two tables so get data excel and i'll pick up that text functions two tables i'll load there's a reason behind loading two examples if you do not remember the table name no problem what you can do is you can always click on this table and see the preview of the data before you pick up so i'll pick up these two tables and click on transform here this power query window will open and uh, let me show you that so when you have a consistent data okay when only two characters three characters four characters are there you can go for left right and mid function let me show you that so on the left hand side these are all the queries okay these are all the queries which are loaded into power query on the right hand side these are all the steps which you have recorded here this would be the name of the query this would be the preview of your data and this would be all the functions which are available in the tabs in the power query so that's the user interface of power query i have not explained you in the first video because once we do a practical you'll get an idea coming back the question here is i want to find out the first two characters of this order id so transform tab and i can go to this extract option okay transform extract and here if you see there are many options so i'll say first characters if i click on first characters and if i type here two and click on ok so from that column the first two characters would be extracted and given here now what about the other last characters or middle characters that text has gone away so you cannot bring back because we told them to transform from the existing column okay transform means same column you have to do some changes actually i should have told them that add a column of two characters separately so before i jump there let me show you see the name of this box that's a text column read this one at the bottom text column this would be a number column okay read the text at the bottom and this would be something else that is the date and time column okay so these are functions 100 functions if i go to add column you might see the same functions here that is from text you see from text then we have here from number okay that's from number and then we have from date and time okay same functions are there so what is the difference then the difference would be let me delete the last step if i go to add column and if i click on extract first characters add column extract first characters and type 2 if i click on ok this will add a new column with extracting two characters but if i select the first column and if i go to transform tab extract first characters and if i type 2 click on ok this will give me in the existing column okay so make sure you use it wisely when to use add column and when to use transform okay so add column and i have extracted those now if i want the last six characters so add column extract and last characters remember add column the last column i mean six characters okay so this would give me the six values here six characters now i want the middle text which is 20 18 17 and 16 so i can go to extract i can select the option range range will give me the starting index i'll type as three and i want four characters from third one so if you are an excel user you might understand this left right and mid functions so i'll select this three and type here number of characters four click on ok and you can see i've got the text here so this way you can separate the text using left right and mid function it will work sometimes and sometimes it won't work in this case in the other text here if you try to see i cannot pick up the left two characters because if i pick up the left two characters here what will happen i will get this mr and ms but i'll not get this mrs option if i use left two characters i cannot use the left five characters because this will come but johnson will not come so how to solve this query we'll see in the next video itself
So for time being, I hope you have understood how to work on left, right and mid function in Power Query. That's all for this video.